m and axis dash m long has an origin so that is uh, we have to construct an hexagonal pyramid on the hp plane with respect to the base edge you can see resting on the hp plane with the base edge that is your first position so first we will be constructing an xy line and writing the notations xy vp hp So go to polygon by center, select thickness 0.50 mm and select number of side 6 and place it with the edge. Select any vertical edge and change the dimension to 25. So here in the base edge dimension I have given 25. Okay. Now draw the diagonals here, thick lines, we should draw the thick lines. So I write down the notations. So it is having a base edge that is A, B, C, D, E, F, and O, O1. Okay. So draw the projection lines. So construct the front view. So here the axis length I will be considering 50 mm. So front view of this uh, pyramid it is a triangle as we know that. So axis length I will consider 50 mm and I have mentioned it. Write down the front view notations. B dash C B dash and A dash not visible that's why it is in bracket C dash visible F dash not visible similarly we have so here I think we have not joined properly I'll be rejoining it so sometimes it's happen so you make sure you draw with the with zooming area okay so D dash and E dash in bracket and finally we have O dash and O1 dash ok select the front view ok select the front view and go to move command creates a copy of it and slide along the X Y line ok so angle of inclination we should consider with respect to axis for the HP plane. Go to rotate, select the base edge, angle here I will give 50 so that axis it will take 40 degree. Okay. Go to extend to next, extend the axis and measure the angle using angle between it is 40 degree. So project it downward to complete the second position top view. Draw the projection lines downward and horizontally also. write down the notations ok first we construct an outer boundary line that is what our first step joining A to B, B to C then from 
okay i am going to rechange it okay so that's not correct first i have to construct an outer boundary line here okay so from c to o we have to join then from o to f then from f to a so dashed line from f to e and then e to d then d to c okay so the triangular face that is eod not visible from the top view so triangular face abo it is visible that's why it is continuous line and finally there is an axis so you join it properly by zooming that particular area okay so go to axis here now here the resting edge we have to make it parallel to the vp you can see that such that axis inclined to hp and parallel to vp so you have to make that axis uh, parallel to vp now it is parallel to hp in this position i'll make uh, i'll select it and i'll make that uh, axis line uh, vertical so that it will become perpendicular to the vp okay now it is parallel to hp in order to make it parallel to vp means we need to rotate it at exactly 90 degree go to rotate so go to rotate and can rotate it to 90 degree so now you can project it upward you can see the ed is the edge we know it is parallel to the parallel to the vp okay i can see that axis now it is exactly parallel here so draw the projection lines upward to complete the final position so draw the projection lines Now we can write down the notations. So now we have left with that another uh, wood ash point. I'll be drawing an projection line upward here okay yes there i'll mention o dash okay first i'll be constructing the hexagonal base then the slant edges okay if the slant edges are passing outside that will be continuous line and if it is passing inside of the inside of the base that will be in dashed line here okay so from e dash to o dash and d dash to o dash it is the dashed line and then finally there is an axis axis from o1 dash to 